The characters within the Bible are personifications of themes. And the nature and interworkings of these themes and how they interact within the spiritual planes, how these energies interact in order to receive a greater reunion or expansion in existence is expressed through the figures, the characters, or the archetypes of the narrative. One such vital archetype is the archetype for the two sisters. It's called the two sisters or the two women. The archetype relates that when an individual becomes magi, an individual who becomes aware of the greater inner workings of all of existence and they become a spiritually dynamic individual that is proactive within the happenings of the universe on levels beyond just material expression. They are a worker of the higher light. They are working with the core influx of benevolence in the universe and they are trying to become a greater facilitator from a free will construct to the ultimate benevolence of experience, of existence. There is a core archetype of the two sisters or the two women We find it that uh, Adam, within the tradition prior to being introduced in partnership to Eve, was paired with another feminine force called Lily. We as well find that other major characters of the progression of the Bible as well are involved with two feminine forces. We find that Abraham is married to Sarah who the mystics relate her name was also Malka, which means queen, royalty, majesty. And Abraham takes for himself a partner from Egypt and is sojourned to Egypt and has children, has a child with Hagar. an Egyptian princess. We as well find uh, the Israelites, they trace their lineage from a character named Jacob. And we find that the Bible goes into great detail how it happened that Jacob was tricked into marrying two sisters, Rachel and Leah. We also find that the great prophet of the Bible, Moses, also married to two women. Prior to Exodus, he's married to Jethro's daughter.
and subsequent to the revelation at Sinai, Moses takes upon a woman from Cush, which is Ethiopia. He takes for himself a Shet Kushi, which is a new wife from Ethiopia, as understood by mystics on the topic. And it's interesting for a spiritually dynamic individual to focus on this idea because it is not limited to the narrative of the Bible. If you focus on the archetypes of Egyptology, you have the individual who is the expression of rejuvenation and life to the world, of bringing the spring after the winter, of bringing regrowth and compassion to the world after harshness. This individual is personified by Osiris, the Osiris archetype, and many pharaohs that were militant but wanted to control the people and reposition the way they were perceived would create works and monuments that portrayed them as being Osiris. Osiris II was in the archetype married to two sisters. One representing secrets and the other representing wisdom. In Egyptology, when they portray this union, they pictorially express it with one sister having a bowl of incense above her head, burning, and the other sister having a seat or a throne upon her head, Isis. The throne of wisdom. Similarly, Within the archetype, it is Lilith who imparts secrets. Eve imparts the wisdom of eternity, the conduit for such. Similarly, with Abraham, Hagar imparts the secrets of Egypt, and Sarah imparts the wellsprings of eternity. They impart it through the core resonance of their heart's expression. It does not need to be a proactive teaching and expression of giving over such knowledge. It is the Resonance of the individual's heart, the stream of the chord, the cadence of their soul in relation to the soul of the Magi, the soul of the spiritually dynamic individual. The proximity will activate and open up the portals of this expression for the individual. So the proximity of Hagar to Abraham opened up wellsprings of secrets and the proximity of Abraham to Sarah opened up the wellsprings of the light of eternity. Similarly, Leah in relation to Jacob opened up within him 
the hidden secrets of the universe. Understanding. For understanding is an expression of taking from the eternity of what is and breaking it down into pieces and grasping it, owning it, and possessing it. That is the nature of secrets. And the energy of Leah opened up within Jacob the attainment of eternal secrets. But the energy of Rachel opened up within Jacob, within the archetype. For Jacob is called Ishtam, the complete man. He is an archetype of a fulfilled individual. Rachel opens up within Jacob a conduit to the expressions of all of existence as whole, as one, not piecemeal. Not small bites for processing and data and secrets, codes for interacting. But a well-shung of gestalt expression with the eternal flow of the universe. Similar archetype flows into Moses. For this archetype is ever present with any individual that becomes spiritually dynamic. They are pulled within two poles. The pole of wisdom, which is the flow of the eter eternal wisdom and light of all of existence. It is swimming within the ocean of benevolence of all that is. But at the same time, while navigating in a material construct of polarities and dualities, they are pulled by a pole of understanding, of taking out pieces from the eternal well and utilizing these to achieve a greater revelation of light within their immediate experience and beyond. Called secrets. Within the mystical narratives, there is a character called Shina which Shina is considered Bat, a daughter of the divine. And when an individual is not in alignment with all of existence, then Shina is dressed in black and is in exile and in part secrets. And when an individual is abundantly in the light of unconditional love and the flow of all of expression as a singular gestalt, Shina is redeemed within this individual from darkness and raised to the majesty of a conduit of eternal wisdom the flow for all that is. For all is not becoming, and all is not what was. For all merely is. The spiritually dynamic individual walks with secrets and wisdom. The secret and wisdom seem to be at odds. And the spiritually dynamic individual, their work is interfusing secrets and wisdom, the expression of individuality, of understanding, and the expression of collective oneness and the eternity, the oceans of all that is and will be. 
into a singular narrative and expression. So that Shekhinah will reign again within the hearts and minds of men.